Hello and welcome. And today I will talk about how to test mobile application with test trigger. First, once you have created an account, you can create a new test suite and you can write uh, mobile test suite. Uh, or usually it would be name of your application and the uh, environment this application points to something like my application dash staging second you select type of testing instead of web testing or web on mobile testing we will go for native and hybrid mobile great you can also specify username and password in here if your application requires a login next you can specify the provider uh, you can keep test trigger or if you have additionally browser stack or lambda test account you can choose one of those uh, next you can specify s yes, we'll keep uh, android and then you specify the device and we'll stick with s20 one of the most important features of test trigger is ability of test trigger to automatically generate tests for you and uh, this, this is a place where you can select how many tests would you like to be generated. Uh, don't be shy, be generous. Uh, we'll just keep it 10 uh, as in this example. And then we'll go and select uh, some sample application. Click, upload, and create the suite. So our application is being uploaded. Once you have created a test suite and created some tests, later on you can uh, retest your test suite using API. You do not have to uh, do the retest only through the UI. You can go to uh, CICD section and as you can see here, you can, this is how you can trigger the API. You can provide the URL of the file you would like to upload. Okay, so currently what the system is doing is uh, uh, it started uh, a server which started an Android emulator that downloaded your application um, then uploads your application in the emulator and then starts your application and it all usually all takes a little bit of time once it is done it will start creating tests for you automatically uh, after a couple of minutes you will see some tests uh, and once it is produced uh, an automatic test I'll show you how to create additional tests All right, so our system have produced the first test. Uh, it, were, uh, it took 30 minutes and it uh, got two actions in here. And uh, it click on one button and another button. You can go here and copy this test, for example. There's another test in there. And uh, let's create one more. You can click add custom test case, uh, paste those steps in there and say tap go. And let's give it a name go. So I uh, saved and started the, uh, the test. And yet again, same process will apply. The system will uh, start the server and uh, start the emulator, download the application, upload it to emulator, start the application, and once it is ready, it will execute those tests, those steps. And there you go. As you can see, uh, the test started. And it uh, loaded the application and executing steps. 
and then it's clicked on go uh, like that and uh, uh, this is how you deal with tests for mobile on test trigger so you can write those tests in plain english and you can generate uh, yourself uh, a lot of tests thank you very much